All right, welcome to part seven of how to open a barbershop. Today we're gonna to be talking about the final expenses. How much does it cost? But real quick before we get into it, I wanna run through and recap what we've talked about so far. So that if you guys are new to the channel or new to this series, you know all the parts that we've been over. So we started off with part one, which was finding a location. So we went to look at a location, see what was nearby, what kind of foot traffic we were gonna have. Obviously look at the building, the square footage, kind of the receptacles and the plumbing and all the different things that you have to deal with when you're choosing a location. And part two was coming up with a name and designing a logo. So we talked just a little bit about coming up with a name and then I showed you guys Fiverr, which is the program or app that I use to develop logos and some other graphics and things like that. Moving on to part three, we went to my signage shops and we discussed some options you guys have for signage at the barbershop. Also while going over the options that I'm gonna be using at my second location. And in part four, we talked about all the equipment that we had to have, barber chairs, stations, mirrors, everything down to the vacuums and brooms and waiting chairs. And if you guys missed that one, that is super important and it has some good information on where you guys can find all of that equipment. In part five, it was about to build out the different options from building a new construction, taking over an existing barbershop, doing what we're doing, which is an existing building and turning it into a barbershop. So if you guys missed that, that is an important one as well has a couple different options. In part six, we talk about where to find barbers and what I look for in different barbers that I'm gonna hire for my shop, what is important to me, and some places you guys can find them because that is one of the most common questions I get asked when it comes to opening a barbershop. But like I said, guys, episode seven, part seven, whatever you wanna call it, we're gonna be discussing all the expenses that we have and I'm gonna give you guys a grand total for what it costs to open my barbershop. All right, so I have the numbers pulled up on my computer. We're gonna run through it. We're gonna put the numbers up here so you guys can follow along. And I have some additional things that I'll talk about and hopefully we can get a nice total for you guys. So the barber chairs were 59.92, $5,992. Shipping was 750, so that total was 67.42. The shampoo bowl was $750. Eight of the station mats cost us around $1,000. We got eight mirrors that ended up costing $480. The eight tool chests cost us $3,700. Two barber poles for $320. Waiting chairs, I ended up getting eight for 250 bucks. Trash cans, towel bins, all of that was 150. The license plate frames were 20 bucks. All four of the big hexagon lighting sets that we got was $1,476. Two IVACs for $200 each for $400. I ended up getting all the TVs for $850. That's four 50-inch TVs for $850. The cameras were $350. Speakers for $200. And the booster seats, I spent about $90. So right there, that is $16,000. $780 and then there's a few more expenses that we had on top of that. All right, so the signage for the building ended up being 6,500 bucks. I think it was a little over, but we'll just call it 6,500. You guys missed that in the signage video. We did get a huge, big lit sign up above the door that's gonna be going up there. We did get some graphics for the back wall out back that you can see from the shopping center behind us and also some pylon signs up on the street. So that was 6,500. Let's go ahead and add that to the total. So we are at $23,280. Now on top of that, another expense that you guys are gonna have is your normal deposits and first month's, last month's rent sometimes. And guys, I'll tell you at this location I'm sitting in, I had to pay first month's rent, last month's rent and a deposit. So it ended up being like something like 12,000 bucks. So most of the time, you know, if you pay $1,000 in rent, then you have to pay first First months, last months, and a deposit, you'd be at 3,000. So I was absolutely expecting to hand over about 10 grand for this location. And I got lucky guys, I looked at the lease and somewhere in the lease, all it said was that the first month's rent is due on the 1st of March when we get the keys and the lease start. So all I have to pay is a thousand bucks. So you guys need to know that that is something you potentially will have to pay. I guess it's gonna vary. Here I had to pay like 12,000. Out there I'm gonna start for about a thousand bucks. So I really kind of lucked out. So we'll go ahead and add a thousand to that. All right, so we are at $24,280. And of course guys, there are gonna be some variables, some things you may not do, some things you may do. And like the admins bill, the energy bill, um, the gas bill is what admin says, not energy. But those type of bills, guys, sometimes when you go to get those, you have to put a deposit down for a new business. So luckily I already have an existing location. Didn't have to put a deposit down. I could just add it to my account. So you guys can go ahead and just kind of prepare for potentially a few more thousand or a few less. If you're only gonna do four chairs, obviously you can kind of cut this whole thing in half because you're gonna need less space. You would have cheaper rent. You don't need as many barber chairs. And I got eight of everything. You would get four of everything. So this was just to give you guys an idea of what the cost could be. This is exactly my cost, guys. I'm being transparent with this whole thing. A lot of you guys have commented that you appreciate that. So I wanted to be transparent. I wanted to tell you guys what it costs. And uh, real quick, I will touch on, guys, somebody asked for me to speak on financing options and, and what I would recommend. And I will tell you guys, my first barbershop when I opened it, I had a good friend. He's actually a millionaire and he's retired. And he supported me. He, he knew that I was really gonna do something special. And he offered 
offered to give me 10,000 just as a loan. As long as I paid him back, I didn't have to pay interest. So to be honest, I lucked out. I did not have to go to get financing at a bank or anything like that. So I don't really know what to tell you guys. I don't know exactly how that can work. This time I used a zero interest credit card and some of the income that I have from YouTube and the barbershop and all that. So I did not have to get a loan, but I would imagine if you guys have some form of tax documents for the last few years, you're doing decent as a barber that you guys can go get a small business loan. Again, this is an eight chair shop that's gonna cost us 25 grand. So I would imagine you could get like a $20,000 business loan and have, you know, three or four or five years to pay that back. So that is what I would imagine. You can do the zero interest credit card, but you gotta pay it back in a year. If you got a rich relative, see if you can borrow it, pay them back a little extra, whatever it is. Um, at the end of the day, you guys just have to figure it out. So you can start small. My first shop, I started with three chairs and then I added a couple, then I added a couple so that the expenses weren't so high off top. And now for me, I'm fortunate I'm in a position that I can just go ahead and drop the 25,000, set it up how I want, and we can roll forward with a pretty full barbershop set up exactly how I want. So I hope this video was helpful, guys. That's kind of all the insight I have on that topic. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing the transparency on the exact cost I've paid for all this stuff. And again, we talked about build outs before. If you have to do the build out yourself, then the cost is gonna be a little higher. I pay more rent on the back end because they did the build out for me. So there's obviously a lot of variables, but I hope this did give you a little bit of insight in what it can cost. You guys should be able to look at all this freeze frame with all the uh, numbers over here and you can go back and do some math or you can go to the equipment video and kind of figure up some numbers for yourself on what maybe potentially you would do for your barbershop. All right guys, so I just learned I can link you to the playlist. So if this is the first video you're seeing and you want to watch the rest of this playlist, click right here and check it out and stay tuned because the next episode we're going to be assembling and starting to put some things together and hang stuff on the walls and put the stickers on and do all that. And I'm going to show you guys the process the whole way. So click here, check out the playlist and I'll catch you guys for part eight.